Hi everyone. In this screencast, I want to show you a couple of things. The first thing I want to show you is how you can add your own tab to the player in your Storyline project. In this case, I've got a, a new tab called Exit, uh, and somebody could actually exit the course when they click on this particular tab. So if I click on it, then I want to show you, this is the second thing I want to show you as part of this screencast, and that is how to use what's called a lightbox slide and it's, in this case it's going to act like a gate screen and uh, give the user the option do they really want to exit the course or do they want to go back to where they want to where they were in the course just in case they happen to click on that exit button just to see what would happen so if I say no that I want to stay I can close the light box down and I can, can, I can continue on with the course however if I click yes I'm done then that will shut down the course and I would have to go back in and, and continue where I was up to. So a couple of things there, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. And what I have here is I've got a little demo course that I've started to put together, just a little three slide course. And the first thing I'm going to do is create my lightbox slide. And what I like to do with lightboxes is because they are uh, accessible from anywhere in the course, I like them to sit a little bit on their own. So what I'm going to do from here in Story View is I'm going to actually add a new scene and by default that will insert a new slide and it's that slide I'm going to eventually create as my lightbox slide. So I'm going to rename this scene the exit scene and then I'm also going to name the slide yes no. Again you can call them whatever you like but I'll do it that way. So we now have two scenes. We have our course and we have our what's going to become our lightbox slide. So if I double click on that slide to have a look and to open it up, I'm going to add here in, in here a couple of elements. So I'm going to add it just my text box to say to the person, do you really want to exit the course? So when they because remember when they get when they click on that exit button they're going to see this slide and this is like a second chance. Are you sure that you really want to uh, exit out of the course? Um, and they'll have some options. Now what I can also do uh, at this point is I don't really need to have the next and previous buttons. I'll get rid of those. And all I'm going to do is put on this slide just a couple of, you could use buttons, I'm just going to add a couple of shapes. One to say, yes, I'm done. And I'll make that text just a little bit larger. And I'll even make the yes part really stand out. So yes, I'm done. And then we're also going to need to say, no, I want to stay. So we're giving this, remember this is the gate screen. So they can either leave or not leave. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to just to follow good practice and that's just make sure I've named my objects in the timeline. So a yes and a no. Then I need to just put some triggers on these two shapes. So on the yes button, what's going to become the yes button, I'm going to add a trigger to say exit course when user clicks yes, so that will shut the course down. And I'm going to add a second trigger that's going to say close light box, because remember this will become the light box, when user clicks no. Okay, so two triggers, yes to exit, no, to stay. And you can format the slide however you like with images and, and different coloured shapes and different text. But essentially that's all I really need right now. So if I look in story view, I've got my little course here down the left and then this will become my lightbox slide. And essentially what will happen is when we set this up that I could be on this first slide and I could see that slide. I could be on the second and I could look at the same slide. I could be on slide three and look at the same slide. So that's where the power of the lightbox slide comes into play, that you can access the same slide from anywhere in the course. Now you could, I could put a button or you could put a button on every single slide that accesses that same exit screen. 
Or a neater option could be to add another tab to the player and call it exit um, and then set up some triggers to, to make this light box slide show. So I'm going to show you how to do that now and how we get to that is to set that up is we need to go to the player settings. So if I open up the player properties window you can see where you can go in and add all sorts of things to the player and change the colors and all of those sorts of things. And in this first features area that opens up we've got some options around the player tabs and by default you know there's resources you might have a menu uh, you could have all of those things and they're just ticking and unticking of checkboxes so if I didn't want resources I could turn it off by unticking it and put it back on but there isn't one by default called exit and what you can actually do is you can actually with this little add icon underneath add your own tab to the player so if I click on that I need to give my my new tab a name so I'm going to call it exit and I can choose where it's um, located then we need to associate a source and assign an action to that now I could just have as my action to exit the course and it would close the course down but remember we want to use that gate screen so it's going to give the user the option before the course closes down so what I need to tell Storyline is in this case when you click on exit jump to that light box slide that we just created and I need to then tell Storyline which slide is that and it's this slide 2.1 when the user clicks this exit tab then I can say OK to that and what it does is over here in our little player preview I can see that I've got a little exit tab there now and I also have in the player tabs area the new exit tab. Now if I didn't want it on the, the right there I can use these arrow keys to move it around the player so now it's on the other side of resources. If I click the arrow again I can put it over here on the left. So you've got some options as to where you actually place the new tab. Then I can say OK to that. So now what I have if I preview out and to see because it's across two scenes I'll need to preview the entire project to see that working but I could be on this first slide I can click exit and now I see my new light box slide no I want to stay I can move to the next slide maybe I want to exit here no I'm happy to stay then I can go to my third slide click on exit and I can say if I'm done I'm I can click yes. I could have clicked that anywhere in the course but we're actually accessing that exact same slide three across three different other slides. Now a lightbox slide automatically has this built-in close button that will also close the lightbox down and take them to where they left off in the course but having the no button there, a yes or a no, um, just for me keeps it uh, nice and neat and, and a bit consistent and then I can say yes I'm done and the course will exit. Now in preview mode you just go back to um, uh, story view but in reality if that was a published course that will close the course down altogether. Well that's it from me today. Uh, how to add another player tab to your Storyline project and how to use a lightbox slide to act as a gate screen to double check that somebody wants to exit the course. Now if you wanted to download a copy of uh, a, a short set the sample that we saw at the beginning of the screencast just go to www.mattguyan.com and just look for the downloads section and you'll find a little sample there that you can download and have a look for yourself. Okay, thanks for that, see you next time.